What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another tweak video. You guys wanted more tweak videos. So that's what you're gonna get. I'm doing a bunch of them this week. Uh, so I'm gonna cover shuffle in this video and shuffle is a settings tweak that allows you to customize the look of settings. And it's probably one of the most used settings tweaks you can get. So I figured it definitely deserved its own video and I'll guide you guys through the functionalities of it. So if we jump into my settings application, as you guys can see, it does look a lot different and it's much more functional as well with shuffle, um, especially when you're adjusting tweaks all the time. Um, so as you can see, we have a cool looking banner image there that is, uh, that is done with shuffle. Um, I do have my Apple ID kind of stuck in that grouping with the banner and it's just looking really nice. We have some sub sections here, mods, store, and Apple. And I rena uh, renamed those myself. So mods is tweaks, store is app store apps, and then Apple is um, Apple's built-in applications. Uh, so that's what those categories are. And then everything else looks pretty much normal, uh, grouped together. And as you guys can see, settings is a whole lot shorter and way more organized in my opinion uh, than it is in the stock form. And it's just much, much better in my opinion with shuffle. So let's go into mods here. Let's go into shuffle, as you guys can see there. And uh, this is the settings for shuffle. It's pretty straightforward. I'm actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into uh, light mode. Hopefully it may, is maybe easier for you guys to see because the settings is pretty, pretty dark. So hopefully that looks a little bit better. As you can see, it looks really good in light mode as well. So dark mode, light mode, it looks great in both. So let's go into mods and let's go into shuffle again. So first off, you have the on off switch at the top and then you have general uh, shuffle group index. Now you will have to change the index, the group index. I did change mine to one. I think it's different by default, but that uh, groups, um, you know, the, I believe that's what grouped my, my Apple ID section and the banner image together. I believe that's what I adjusted to get that effect. Um, and then you have the ability to enable 3D touch throughout settings, which is really cool as well. I could uh, demo that real quick for you guys. So I guess we could just uh, 3D touch on Wi-Fi. And as you can see there, it has a pop-up. So that is super useful. Airplane mode, you can't do it. Bluetooth, as you can see, very easily just go ahead and open that up. So that's a really cool feature as well. Not a whole lot of people probably utilize that, but it can make you know changing certain, certain settings uh, a lot quicker. And then you have the uh, inset tables. I have that turned on. Uh, basically, it's giving this nice kind of bordered um, table view effect. It really makes it look clean. I'm not sure if you guys understand what I mean here, like how mods store and Apple section is kind of in this group kind of panel. Uh, that's what that, um, that toggle does. So I turn that on immediately. I love the way it looks when it does that. And then you have a shuffle group radius. So if you have that grouped table view on, you can change the radius of these. I like the default 10 with the rounded corners, but if you wanted, you can make it square or even more round if you wanted. And then the next section here is for the banner. You can use banner image and then you can uh, add to iCloud group. Oh, that's how I added it right there. That's the option to add it to the iCloud uh, section. So it looks like one kind of grouping, which is really nice looking. Um, you can choose your banner image and that just takes you into your photos application and you can choose any image from there to use as the banner. And then you can adjust the size of the banner as well. You can make it uh, taller or shorter if you want. You can really you know, have full customization on the way that image looks and it's really nice. And then you do have your section titles here. As you guys can see, I did change the names here from tweaks, app store, and then system apps to mods, store, and Apple, just to give it a little bit more of a clean look. And plus I think mods sounds really cool. Um, and then you have advanced section titles here. Uh, these I would probably just leave by default. You don't really need to change the names of those, but that's just the advanced section there. And then down at the bottom, you have your normal um, support and creator, backup and restore, change log, and then it shows what version you're using. And that's really all there is to it. It's a really simple tweak, uh, but like I said, it gives you full control over settings. It allows you to make settings a lot more organized, more functional, and look really cool. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. I will leave the link down in the description for the repo that you will need for Shuffle. Uh, but anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.